Alright guys, so today we're working on a Civic. It was an 8, right? Mm -hmm. 2008 suit? 2008 EX sedan. I'm going to be doing the radiator on it. I already drained the radiator. So I'll show you guys where the drain line is. I'll in a little bit. But we're going to take this cover off and the side ones. We're going to open up a little bit so we can release the front cover. So it has a clip here, one here, one here, another one there. And another two, we're supposed to have three on this side. So we have to take out uh, this guy here, this one, so we can remove the bumper. And let's see what else we really need. Be right back. Alright guys, so we take the two bolts out and now we're gonna remove the bumper. Alright guys, so fortunately for me, it had a quick release on the side for the bumper. If not, you have to mess around with it. So I just had to cut some uh, zip ties and and the quick release on the corner. It's that little guy right there. So I did that real quick. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make space and room to remove the stuff. We're gonna be taking the cross member out because we do have fans underneath there and we have to remove this guy in order to make room to take the fans out. All right, be right back. All right, so yes, we are in Florida, and today is not cold. It's just that it's windy where I'm at, but it's a little bit cool today. So we got to take everything away that holds to the cross member. So we got ten there, ten there. Quite a few, quite a few. I don't know if you guys picked that up, but it was quite a few of them. So this one is for the AC. This one's our radiator brackets. We also have some on the inside. On each corner. So basically at this level, right here where my finger is at, there's one more. This might be another one here. And then the batteries on the way.
perfect. So that's that. We should be able to free this guy up. We got some wires. This one right here is gonna go to the top of the fan. I'm gonna click that one. Really all we need. Okay. This is the line right here. Should come up. Put that aside. I'm gonna remove the other ten. Two tens. Seating right underneath here. My finger is at. And click this guy. And I already drained the radiator so we can take this guy out so right here is where the plug goes and it has a little holder in there to hold the wire that's what you're gonna be taking off and then from here we have a sensor on the bottom of the radiator let's see if I could zoom in there for you guys
All right, so let me see if I can put some some lighting here. So right here is the sensor. Over here is the drain for the radiator, and obviously we have a quick connect hose. So we gotta hook all these guys up. Well, this one is to drain. That's the first thing that you wanna do. You're gonna hook this guy from the bottom of it, or you can just take it out of here and then drain it afterwards. And then we got the sensor. Sensor so press and release. This one to drain, you just kind of twist it. And then this one with the pick. So with the pick, you want to come from the center of it on the bottom and kind of pull down till it clicks. And then you just gotta wiggle this guy. Of course, it's going to be very tight in there because it has never come out. So, I don't fight with it in place. We're going to take this clamp off. Let me zoom out here for a minute. What I did here is I just took this clamp off, it was right here, so we can bring the radiator out with the hose and everything. I'm gonna have to break loose this hose. So see, that's a quick disconnect that I was telling you about. When it's clicked, you just kind of pick from here, pull it down, and then it's going to release. So now, let me go ahead and get the oil radiator, the, the oil radiator, the new radiator, and see what I need to swap over. Alright, be right back. Alright guys, so we have a full aluminum radiator. We're going to be swapping over the stuff that we need from this one over to the new radiator. So, I'm going to need the mounts. We're going to need these two guys. And then we're going to right here. Looks like they're a little bit close. So, we might uh, just put them on the frame. That way we just might move. We do have to take the sensor out. Take the bolt out where it's plugging in the, the sensor. So you can see. Rubber hose. Seal. It's going to smash in there. Make sure that. But it's not playing it out. There we go. Okay. So now we're going to take this guy out so we can connect that sensor. And we should be able to slide the, the hose over here with its own clamp. So let me try that real quick. Alright, guys, so I was swapping over the hose and I noticed that the stock. Uh, Clamp is not going to work, so we are going to be using one of these guys, okay, 
is your regular clamp screw on one but it has an inner shield on it so it will make the biting into the rubber way better than just little things biting into the rubber itself and making it leak down the road so this is what we're going to be using but once we put the holes back in place that way we have everything properly aligned up and, and everything so let me go ahead and change that sensor over and put this thing on the hose be right back alright guys so I had to put some Teflon on the sensor because the ring arm it does not have a seat to sit on like the OEM one so put some Teflon on it roll it down it seems to be good to go so now all we need to do is put it in place So we're going to go ahead and slide it down so that we can adjust the hose. So I got the things there. Everything is looking good. Twist that hose real quick in place. Alright guys, so twist the hose in place so that we can match the line of the hose and it's not shrinking anywhere. I already put the clamp over here and now I'm gonna go ahead and connect the sensor on the bottom. Connect our clamp, tie the clamp down. sensor for the radiator it is a 17 so you can remove it and, and swap it over okay the hose is good now we're gonna go ahead and begin the fan here so we put the top hoses Get our fan. It should go in the same position that it was in. Just make sure that everything lines up. Connect our plug. Thank you. 
the first fan is in location. It's not moving anywhere. We got our second fan. Quick. So I have to get another one, just like the one that we put underneath the airbag. Alright, so we have another clamp. Always put it the easiest way to screw it in. That way later, if you have to go in, or somebody else has to go in, it's not in a weird position where it's hard to get to. So, This is in. We gotta route this back again to where it's supposed to go. Which in the reservoir over here. We're gonna connect that here in a second. Everything is looking good. This for the reservoir. It has its own little route. since the radiator is a little bit thicker. 
kind of touches one corner here. This corner seems to be okay. Everything here seems to be okay. But this corner here is touching. So we might have to trim this a little bit to kind of get that out of the way so it doesn't touch. Yeah, like always, there's going to be a little customization to these things. It's a way far radiator. So that's there. I don't know if you can see that, but. In order to line up, I have to trim this. Let me get a marker so I can trim what I need. Alright guys, so I already made my drawing. I don't know if you can pick that up there. Yeah, you can kind of pick it up right there. So I'm going to trim that away so we can clear for the radiator. that cut was perfectly spot on the first try awesome we're gonna bolt it down we're gonna bolt it down everything and then uh, deal with the little hole here so we can get that spot on all right so Time consuming. Time consuming. So we got a couple of bolts. It's gonna line up the pieces. on the back side.
in place. Tap this guy in there. Uh, this condenser is a little bit warped. I don't know if you can pick it up. But it is a little bit warped. So I'm going to try to separate it a little bit if you can. Turn the radiator itself and it doesn't vibrate into it. Let's see what we can do. If you look at it, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but right there. If you look at it, here it's open, here it's closed. So you're going to go ahead and pull the bracket on this side. We pull this guy in. We should be able to be good to go. So we're gonna go ahead. Put this guy in here. All right. So that's him. Now we got a good space. Now we got to deal with this bracket. He's going to be pushing this thing away, but the, the hole doesn't line up there no more. So we're going to have to tap a new hole. Okay, I know I just had a marker somewhere. So let me tap a new hole there. Yep. Okay, so we have a new hole. Let's find out if it lines up. Ooh. Spot on. Did not get better than that. Looking good, it's not touching on the corner, and it is looking awesome. <clears throat> okay, so now the only thing that we're missing is connect this guy here. Connect the fan, don't forget the fan on this side. Okay, so now we need to check the work. So now we're gonna go ahead and add coolant. Here we go. Okay, so now we pick the right cap, put our funnel on. Out of water. Now this year uh, Honda, they do take uh, blue water, and this was a Honda Genuine water. If you can pick that up, but it does take a like a BMW kind of water, but obviously no Honda. We 
to keep an eye out for leaks. We do not want any leak in the system. <clears throat> so let me get the most of the water in. That way we get the majority of the bubbles out and then we gotta run it to turn the heater on and cycle the, the water. We'll be right back. Alright guys, so now we got most of the water in, a little bit of time. We turn on the car, we put on the heater. I'm gonna let it idle and circulate a little bit. You might want to give it some gas just to get that camera set to open sooner. And get the most air out of the system. Um, Probably the next day or a couple hours will go by and you won't, might want to double check the levels again. But yeah, so that's that. Uh, let me go ahead and put the bumper back on. And like I said, this is a quick connect uh, bumper. So let me go ahead and get that on real quick. He's gonna put some zip ties on the bottom because he doesn't have anything else to hold it. But that's it. Alright, guys, so now it's just a matter of uh, getting the air bubbles out. Then let it run for a minute, open up the thermostat, circulate, good to go. I just gotta put the top cover back on with a little plastic clip. So this thing goes underneath the grill. So I'm just gonna line up with the plastic clips and one and put it back on. Alright guys, like always, share, like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.